Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today we're continuing our, our Astroberry Part 2 series and if you didn't see Part 1, I covered how to get the SD card formatted and get it connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of follow some of the beginning steps to get you started with the Astroberry server. When you first start it, you'll see this screen on the uh, the welcome there but what I would like to do is before we get started go here to the terminal and once the terminal window is open then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do an update here sudo app dash git update ampersand ampersand sudo app dash git upgrade basically we are updating and then we're upgrading all in one shot it's going to ask for the password. The password, of course, is Astroberry. And then it'll go through and it'll start updating your system. And we'll want to get everything updated before we begin anything else. I found that some of the things were not working because it wasn't updated. So make sure you do the update before you continue on. That will take a considerable amount of time for everything to download and update and upgrade. So once that gets done, we'll want to... Uh, go ahead and restart it and you can do that by uh, clicking the little icon right here and go down to shut down reboot now we can uh, begin to start some of the welcome screen here so we'll just uh, go ahead and click on the OK there it will ask you for your password and your password of course is Astroberry so once we get into this Raspberry Pi configuration, we want to go to the localization. The reason why we want to go into here is to set our time zone. This is where all the fun starts using K stars. Click on the little telescope icon up here in the upper taskbar area there. It'll open up K stars. And the first time you open up K stars, it will ask you to, to run through a wizard. Next. Uh, it's going to ask you home location, so you can put your city in there, and then it will pull up major cities like I'm um, close to is Los Angeles. And then once you do that, you'll, you'll see that it has some, a little tool tip that comes up each time you start up K-Stars. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and close this now. Get into K-Stars, you'll, you'll see a way to expand the window full screen, so I'll, I'll do that right now. And the one thing that we're going to want to concentrate on is this little observatory. And what this is, this is the Echos. And the Echos is where you can start configuring your hardware. This has a profile wizard that you can use as well. I've been trying to just learn it without the, the wizard. And I'll show you how uh, to get started. Now they have by default a simulator. What I've been doing is I've been practicing with the simulator and the way that uh, this kind of works in a brief uh, description here is that you hit the play button to start it and what it will do is it'll pull up and kind of show you all the hardware in the ND control panel and this is where you would try, uh, change some options from your uh, your hardware. The way you you stop this is a little bit different disconnect and then you hit this little stop button you can next go in and make some edits on your hardware and the way you would do that is with this uh, edit profile and then you can go into here and you can see all the different hardware that's there for you to play around with and what I'll do is in some some of the future videos here as I will go through each of these uh, different pieces of hardware that I uh, run into. I, I do have s some hardware challenges coming up. One of the things that I that I don't have uh, figured out yet is my filter wheel. So I have to get a driver that works with my uh, filter wheel because I have an Apogee camera, but the Apogee camera that I have filter wheel isn't one of the supported indie drivers there. I have some exciting videos coming up in the future here and I appreciate your your comments, likes and subscribes. Thanks for watching.